Disney Plus has finally launched, and while that may seem like a pretty straightforward bit of news, it's a streaming service you use to watch Disney stuff, right? Well, actually, it's a little bit more involved than that. Here's everything you need to know about Disney Plus, from how you can watch to what you can watch. It's no secret that Disney is taking on Netflix by launching its own streaming service. And while Disney Plus won't have as many titles as Netflix at launch, let's not forget the Disney Vault is huge. From Disney classic movies to Pixar favorites, all of the Disney Channel's TV shows, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, plus everything Star Wars, and since Disney purchased 21st Century Fox, countless more TV series and movies. Disney Plus is poised to be in high demand. Here's another appealing tidbit. Disney Plus is going to make many of its titles available in 4K HDR and with Dolby Atmos surround sound. It also looks like Disney Plus will be the only place you can get hot new Disney-owned movies in 4K with Dolby Vision since the company has halted putting out 4K Blu-rays with Dolby Vision on them. And that's big news for enthusiasts. So there's a lot of content on the table and it's going to look and sound great. How much does all of that cost? Well, if you just go with a standalone subscription, the price is seven bucks a month or $70 per year. But there are some bundle deals available and that's where things can get a little tricky because there are a number of ways to subscribe and numerous ways to watch. Let's start with the basics. The Disney Plus streaming app will be available for all the major platforms, including iOS, Apple TV, Google Chromecast, Android, Android TV, PlayStation 4, Roku, Xbox One, and the Amazon Fire TV. The app will also be available for LG and Samsung smart TVs. Sony TVs and some Hisense TVs are covered since they're Android TVs, and TCLs are covered since they're Roku TVs. If you want to forego using the Disney Plus app, you can also access Disney Plus through Apple TV OS, which means that you'd pay your subscription to Apple and watch through the Apple TV app on an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Apple TV box. Now, right now, as we record this, the Apple TV app is also also available on Samsung smart TVs exclusively, but later this year the app will be coming to other major TV brands, so you might want to check if it's available on your TV. There's also this workaround where you can play anything off the Apple TV app via AirPlay 2, which is supported on Samsung, Vizio, and LG smart TVs, among others. Now you can also subscribe to Disney Plus as an add-on to Hulu, similar to how you can subscribe and watch HBO, Showtime, Stars, and Cinemax through Hulu. This is important because while Disney also owns 21st Century Fox, most 21st Century Fox properties will stay on Hulu and not be available through the Disney Plus app. So that's one reason to add. Another reason, there's a bundle deal available that gets you a subscription to Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus for 13 bucks. That's $5 savings and a pretty compelling deal. The catch here is that you have to watch everything through the Hulu app if you subscribe this way. Okay, now that you know all the different ways to subscribe and watch, let's dive into what you can actually watch. Like I said, the Disney Vault is huge and Disney Plus will go all the way back to old school animated features like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Pinocchio. You'll also get modern day Disney Channel fare like Descendants, vintage live action features including The Parent Trap and Old Yeller, forgotten oddities like the made-for-TV fuzz bucket, a huge collection of 90s Marvel cartoons, almost every Star Wars flick, and of course, Captain Marvel. Not everything in Disney's vault will be available right away though. Titles will be released on a rolling basis, so just because you don't see it now doesn't mean it isn't eventually coming. That is except for Song of the South, which is forever locked away due to its racially insensitive content. Newer Disney movies like Frozen 2, Toy Story 4, Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, and the live action remake of The Lion King will appear on Disney Plus sometime after their theatrical and home video releases. However, the record-busting conclusion to Marvel's Infinity Saga, Avengers Endgame, is available right now. Then, finally, there's the all new original content being created specifically for Disney Plus. The most popular of these is the first live action Star Wars series, The Mandalorian, which follows the adventures of an outer space gunslinger shortly after the events of the original Star Wars trilogy. For some, this show alone is worth a subscription. It's important to note, though, that Disney will be releasing its shows episodically, not all at once, so there will be no binging these new shows unless you can stand to wait until they've all come out before getting started. Like I said, there's a lot going on here, which is why we at Digital Trends anticipate Disney Plus becoming one of the most popular streaming services available.
Thanks for watching, everybody. What do you think about Disney Plus? Are you going to subscribe to this? Is there enough stuff there for you? Let us know down in the comments. Of course, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.